All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over basically how I make my screen recorded videos, uh, exactly what I do, and I've done a few different softwares I've used. So currently I'm using Camtasia, so it's really the best product on the market in my opinion. It's a screen recorder video editor. So what I can do is record my screen. It's going to open up Camtasia at the end, create the video file with the audio file, and what I can do is cut it down, edit it, add text, and then I can just export the file. Um, so they use the word share, but I can either share it directly to YouTube. But what I do is I export the file. Um, it's very easy to use. Um, and then all I have to do is upload it to YouTube. So if I scroll down, you can see some different features that there are. Um, but basically, amazing video editing in three steps. Record your screen, make edits, add effects, and then you create your video file. Um, so I haven't had any issues with Camtasia at all so far. There's really no issues with um, like lag in the videos or things that freeze. Um, I haven't had any issues with recording the microphone. So Camtasia, I highly recommend. Now the one downside to using Camtasia is the pricing. So a single license is $249. Um, it's kind of a little different for business, education, if you order a bunch at a time. Um, so I think if you order like 10 at a time, if you need a lot of people for like an organization, it's a little bit cheaper. Um, but Camtasia can be used with Windows and Mac, and it's really all in one. Um, it's my favorite way to create videos, edit them, and upload them. So Camtasia is my first recommendation. Now, most of the videos on my channel are actually recorded with QuickTime. So I used to record all my videos on a Mac. The Mac wasn't really performing too well anymore. It was kind of an older, uh, older computer so I haven't been using QuickTime really as much but it came right with my Mac and what I could do is just use the QuickTime screen recording software and then I would edit the video using iMovie so I would just QuickTime would create a dot move file and then I can upload that file right to iMovie and all I'd have to do is cut it down so you can see it's pretty easy to use um, you can see you know the audio file right here at the bottom and then this would be the video file and then you can just make cuts so you can see right here there's some cuts and so any issues that you have if you have any pauses during the video I tend to edit out any pauses that I have so if it seems like my videos just kind of sound like me talking 30 minutes straight a lot of times the videos take 45 minutes to really record um, so I end up cutting down a few different you know areas where maybe there's some pauses or some things that I didn't you know, that didn't come out as well as I'd like them to. So um, using Camtasia or QuickTime with iMovie, um, both of them have worked pretty well for me. So I've only used QuickTime on a Mac, so I'm not sure about PC compatibility or anything like that. Um, but I had a lot of success using it on the Mac. It's really how I built my channel and then using iMovie to edit it. Now, a few free uh, free softwares that I've used. The first one is open broadcaster software uh, so it's Windows Mac and Linux free open source software for video recording and live streaming this is probably the best one if you're looking for something free um, I've used it I've tried to use it um, I've recorded a couple videos with it it wasn't really exactly what I was looking for um, if you scroll down you can see here you can record part of your screen you can record the whole screen um, you can start your recording um, start streaming different things like that so whether you're playing a video game or something like that and you want to stream your screen or just record your screen and upload it to YouTube later. Uh, they have a lot of different things you can do here for you know open broadcaster software. I don't use it enough to really be a master in it, but it's something that's worth testing. If you're looking for something free for now, I'd highly recommend this one. Now, the only other one I've used before is EasyVid. So it's not a terrible screen recorder, but there's definitely some cons to using this one compared to the other ones. Um, so if you're really serious about creating screen recordings um, and, and maybe creating a YouTube channel, a gaming channel, whatever it is that you want to create, I would highly recommend just using Camtasia. I know there's a pretty good upfront cost there with $250, but it really gives you everything you need to create video files. You can add text to your screen. You can do a lot of different things. You can add effects to your screen. You can really create uh, really good videos, and I haven't even used all the different features they have. I'm pretty basic with it. I just kind of record my screen, edit it, share it or share it and then upload it to YouTube and that's how I create videos so um, how I do screen recording Camtasia otherwise I used to use QuickTime with iMovie so uh, if you have any questions leave them in the comments thank you for watching our video today and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel